again my name is Robin Dalko. welcome again I am sharing uh, with you uh, the white supremacist uh, structure that run the global white, white supremacist, uh, supremacist structure and in Africa and the way out Africa and their way out some people usually when you bring such topics they say that but why why are you not building your own part why are you not finding your own solutions why are you blaming them I, I, I if you have to blame them it's not it's not wrong they did a lot of ease. the rapists can be blamed because if somebody rapes a young woman can be blamed you don't just say that uh, but what was the woman doing there the fact that the woman was even even if the woman was naked does not give you right uh, to to rape her if Africa was even weak and even if they were fighting themselves you cannot it does not give them right to destroy they came to distort the part that we had the part that we were growing because if you look if you study history very well the world had gone on for so long, but a lot of the innovations and a lot of the improvement and so-called development and institutions and structures that have been built were built just, just. Is there any coincidence that when they started to come to Africa, they started to take slaves, they started to take the gold, the diamonds, then those things start, uh, they started to develop. Europe was poor. Go and check uh, in the 11th, and 9th, the, 20th, the 8th century was nothing. There was no America anywhere. So why is it that it's up until the 16th century that they started to come and after they had been here for a century or two, then they started to say that they had innovation. Because much of those, many of those innovations were, were, were pure African innovations and, and, and you have to study those things. So they truncated our part, they destroyed us, they gave us education that was useless. We can use it it's for literature, it's not for creativity and thinking. They gave us a religion that fought against the religion that we know. You know the re the religion that we know it fought against it, demonize everything, demonize our ancestry. Uh, the average Christian in Africa thinks that uh, his, their ancestors worship demons, but they they, they 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 go to the Catholic Church, they go to the other church with the Jesus uh, picture there, and when they bow to that picture, they don't say that they are bound to uh, they they are bound to uh, uh, you know a, 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 a fetish. <laughs> it's not fetish as they say them why it's, it's just all wrong kind of information about ourselves so uh, most of these religious leaders who wear suit and tie speak english uh, we think everything everything um, and not everything but a lot of the things have been westernized and and whitewashed our history our religion our education and you need proper understanding to correct these things you know as an african as somebody who wants to see the progress of africa so what can be done what can be done is is the awareness what can be done is the willingness to give our people different kind of education what can be done is the willingness to support our people build businesses build institutions build institutions that promote innovation and entrepreneurship and creativity give opportunities to your own people make things easy for them government structures that we have across africa work to favor the white supremacist culture the white supremacist trading uh, systems the legal the legalities that we have in our court they favor them most of the contract laws that we have here favor they say that oh before you can qualify for this classification these are the equipment that we you, you must have most of the companies that will qualify for this equipment would have to have bank credit from their country which is five percent a year now for average Ghanaian company would have to have 30 percent to even borrow to buy this this equipment that will call that will give them qualification for major contracts in a country so if you don't know a lot of these things whether is in any business the laws that have been set they've been set to promote white system white agenda few white uh, white people with good heart you know who have genuine heart would show concern but the system would have to be changed or nothing is going to change the system and we have to come out but we can't build a system uh, that will work against uh, these things that have been set against us if you don't understand what has been set against us you know so the understanding is key if even if even not from the, the government position even not from the structural position the individuals who understand these things will then look into their own culture into our own culture and build things for for instance a lot of the stuff that they teach in the mba classes if you apply them you will you, you not have a business you will not have a business but the culture is entirely different and the business support structures are entirely different the environment the environment is so different if i build a business here for 10 years and i have a, let's say uh, some appreciable revenue in a year you can easily take it somewhere and get good investors investors to push it at what cost but the african who invests in who 
you know when you look at our banking structure the global banking structure ours is at their mercy so if you want to go with this part it will be very difficult for us to progress when we are the ones in charge of the prosperity because the white supremacist system is for power is for wealth is for economic dominance and it's for a diplomacy what they even call diplomacy somebody is cheating you but they want you to be nice to them but when you are, you go against them they come against you and they insult you i remember there was a british president who said africa is uh, is what is a dent something something on the is a scar on the west uh something something and that was disastrous for all that the things that you have done to the africans that you tell them though the africans sold their people <laughs> the africans sold their people how much percentage was that you know so there is a lot of miseducation of that and when you strike against those they say that you are not being you are blaming everybody if you understand systems and structures and processes systems kill individuals in a minute you for you to fight a system and processes <laughs> you must build similar systems and processes that will fight them one thing that has protected especially west africans really is the culture and the traditions that we have it's kept us uh, we've been very resilient and buoyant but in terms of fighting the global structure for prosperity uh, for wealth creation for business um, that one we must understand it and build our own and that's why uh, there is more that we have to learn to study this study them because a lot of the times when you meet an african who talks too much about these things and how because sometimes you read the other time i was reading and somebody was saying says things about ghana that i don't like or something i read the article i saw that this is a there's somebody who does not understand the structure ghana is doing our best we've not had the time to even rebuild our own culture and values and to develop as a people Almost every time that we watch TV and there is any development somewhere, somewhere, development somewhere, you see some British man somewhere, some uh, some American man somewhere. They have to sit, even in our parliament sittings. You, I don't know why they go there because if I watch the TV of some of these other countries, I don't see Africans there. But when we are doing something, hey, because that is the power structure that runs this world. And if you don't understand it, then you would uh, be complaining. But once the Africans come together, once the Africans get to know what has been played. Uh, <laughs> what has been playing all these years then there will be because one of the biggest fear is for the Africans to come together they don't want you to be enlightened they don't want you to be empowered they don't want you to have money not at all so they must set systems 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 all the time systems but just as somebody said everything has an end you know and 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 that's why we have to equip our people and enlighten them and tell them that you are as intelligent as anybody else and and if you understand the system that you have you can build something out of that place and when somebody some people are talking about international system international standards are just white supreme standards if you don't know a lot of the times a lot of the times it's just that few individuals maybe but the structure that control power the structure the imperialist structure the, the structure that came to control the structure that came to enslave the structure that still runs this world imf all those the first of all for the white interests before any other race you know and it's a power play and i think the world would have been better if these things never happened the world had been better and especially for us if Af if nobody came here to enslave nobody came here to colonize the world would have been better or even look at the african-americans the jamaicans if they went there and they left them to live as humans the pain would have been less but never the legal system the extrajudicial system all those things work to protect the white culture if you look at americans for instance look at the way the police brutalizes and they would brutalize the africans just because of color who recruits them why are they not punished because the system was built on white supremacy I'm, I'm white and therefore i'm better i deserve the best and we have to understand that and africans must have a strong spirit strong knowledge uh, to continue to live in this world which everybody is trying to tell you even if you go to china because they've been told this they also follow the same thing because it's a global power structure which is based on white supremacist ideas we have had presidents who thought that africans could not govern themselves even up to date the French, the France, French people, they still have a lot of damages that they continue to do in Africa. French Africa is very ignorant. They don't understand a lot of things. So there's so much that we have to do to correct a lot. And it takes awareness, creation, information, any way, anyhow, that we have to give.
this information is out and we have to accept ourselves that we are not uh, as a matter of fact we are the majority now <laughs> yeah, the majority in Africa is here, the majority around the world. Look at how many people live in Africa now. It's 1.2 or so billion. Look at how many Africans live around the world. So if you just look at a people of African descent, we are about 1.6, um, 1.7 billion people. We are the majority. Go and see. Or oh, even more. And therefore, we have to understand the power structure and go for wealth and go for power in the path that we design uh, for ourselves. So I want to thank you very much for watching.